Hi everybody and welcome to today's uh, sporting news. Let's start with the cricket. Overnight, England got on to uh, 247 for 6. They still require 284 to win the game. Let's face it, it ain't going to happen. If Mitchell Johnson gets firing in the morning, um, then it could all be over well before lunchtime. You know, England, all they can do is pray for the biggest storm in the history of Adelaide. If it doesn't happen, though, it's going to be over very quick. So 2-0 down, and who knows what's going to happen. It looks like a whitewash at the moment, the way England are playing. They just ain't good enough in every department. But we'll see. Um, more news from the boxing front. Darren Barker lost his IBF world title fight in Stuttgart last night. Second round stoppage. But there's a big story behind this one. You know, Darren Barker has had two operations on his hips in the past few years. Had a year out of the game. And it happened again last night in the first round. His hips are, uh, they say, dislocated or in some kind of trouble. We'll find out more as the day goes on. And then it was stopped in the second round. He was put down a couple of times. The towel came in in the end when he was on his feet still and trying to fight back. But the corner knew and he was pointing to his hip. Obviously something went badly wrong. Look, on these situations you just feel so sorry for the guy. I mean, you know, he's... He's just got the title a few months ago and he's defending it from the first defence and then this happens. It looks like it could all be over for Barker. It's very hard and I know from personal experience when you get serious injuries, I had a very bad knee injury and there comes a point where you just can't come back anymore. You just have to say enough's enough because you don't know what's going to happen. And when you're, sure, when you're not sure what's going to happen in sport, you just have to throw the towel in. So poor Darren Barker, but you know, he can say he's been world champion. How many people can say that? Also, another big event happening today is the uh, European Cross Country Championships in uh, Belgrade, in Serbia. Thought I'd give it a mention because, you know, cross country isn't always on, on everyone's uh, lips. You know, football, cricket, other sports dominate, but athletics and cross country is a great event. You know, if you want to get out there and run in the fields, run up hills, it's exhilarating. And uh, uh, what's uh, Fianola Britain, the uh, Irish runner? She's got a chance of winning her third gold medal in the women's uh, cross European cross-country race today. If she can pull off a triple gold medal, this is unbelievable, you know. So let's uh, cross our fingers and hope she does it. Uh, also, big football this afternoon at Arsenal. If Arsenal can beat Everton this afternoon, they're going to go seven points clear in the Premier League. I mean, that's going to be fantastic. Seven points clear at this stage of the season. You know, they're really rocking. And I think they're probably going to do it. Everton, you know, beat Man U in midweek and are doing really well. But I think Arsenal probably will have too much today. But it's a big, big match, this crucial match. Uh, then we have David Moyes saying that he thinks Man U can still win the league. But before Man U think about winning the league or even getting in the top four, they've got to start playing well. At the moment, they ain't good enough. And too many teams are too close to them. I haven't seen them beat anyone well this year. Everybody they've played, apart from Leverkusen, when they beat 5-0, has given them a real hell of a game. Something's going on there, I'm not quite sure. I just don't think the players are good enough. Simple as that. Okay, folks, that's uh, the nights and the mornings news. Have a good day, enjoy your sport. I'll say bye for now.